Scientists believe individuals of the most recently discovered hominin group, the Denisovans, that interbred with modern-day humans, passed on some of their genes via multiple, distinct interbreeding events that helped shape early human history. In 2010, the first draft of the Neanderthal genome was published, and comparisons with modern human genomes revealed that Neanderthal and modern humans had interbred in the past. A few months later, analysis of a genome sequenced from a finger bone excavated in the Denisova cave in the Altai Mountains in Siberia revealed that this bone fragment was from a newly discovered hominin group that we now call Denisovans, who also interbred with modern humans. Dr Linda Ongaro, postdoctoral research in Trinity College Dublin School of Genetics and Microbiology said this was one of the most exciting discoveries in human evolution in the last decade. Dr Ongaro, who is the first author of a fascinating new review article published in leading international journal Nature Genetics, added, It's a common misconception that humans evolved suddenly and neatly from one common ancestor, but the more we learn, the more we realise interbreeding with different hominins occurred and helped shape the people we are today. Unlike Neanderthal remains, the Denisovan fossil record consists of only that finger bone, a jawbone, teeth and skull fragments. But by leveraging the surviving Denisovan segments in modern human genomes, scientists have uncovered evidence of at least three past events whereby genes from distinct Denisovan populations made their way into the genetic signatures of modern humans. Each of these events presents different levels of relatedness to the sequenced Altai Denisovan, indicating a complex relationship between these sister lineages. In the article, titled A History of Multiple Denisovan Introgression Events in Modern Humans, Dr. Ongaro and Professor Emilia Huerta Sanchez outline evidence suggesting that several Denisovan populations, who likely had an extensive geographical range from Siberia to Southeast Asia and from Oceania to South America, were adapted to distinct environments. They further outline a number of genes of Denisovan origin that gave modern-day humans advantages in their different environments. Dr. Ongaro said, Among these is a genetic locus that confers a tolerance to hypoxia or low oxygen conditions, which makes a lot of sense as it is seen in Tibetan populations, multiple genes that confer heightened immunity, and one that impacts lipid metabolism, providing heat when stimulated by cold, which confers an advantage to Inuit populations in the Arctic. She added, there are numerous future directions for research that will help tell us a more complete story of how the Denisovans impacted modern-day humans, including more detailed genetic analyses in understudied populations, which could reveal currently hidden traces of Denisovan ancestry. Additionally, integrating more genetic data with archaeological information, if we can find more Denisovan fossils, would certainly fill in a few more gaps, end quote. The paper's abstract section read, The identification of a new hominin group in the Altai Mountains, called Denisovans, was one of the most exciting discoveries in human evolution in the last decade. Unlike Neanderthal remains, the Denisovan fossil record consists of only a finger bone, jawbone, teeth and skull fragments. Leveraging the surviving Denisovan segments in modern human genomes has uncovered evidence of at least three introgression events from distinct Denisovan populations into modern humans in the past. Each of them presents different levels of relatedness to the sequenced Altai Denisovan, indicating a complex relationship between these sister lineages. Here we review the evidence suggesting that several Denisovan populations, who likely had an extensive geographical range, were adapted to distinct environments and introgressed into modern humans multiple times. We further discuss how archaic variants have been affected by demographic history, negative and positive selection, and close by proposing possible new lines of future research. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube. Super thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.